So, just another quick video about an improvement that's been done to an effect in the latest version of Virtual GTA 2024, which is built 8225 at the time of this recording, and that is to the spiral effect. Uh, now, this is not the latest version, this is the older version, just for comparison. So let me just uh, load a track here. And you probably mostly use the spiral effect as a color effect. So this thing, right? So it's all about it uh, going a little crazy, going up in pitch, while at the same time uh, adding some uh, some filter, uh, filter uh, and doing different stuff in opposite directions when it comes to the filtering and also uh, the tempo uh, of the, the pitch changes. So let me just... Just do it so you can hear it. You lay there on the kitchen. So something like that. And uh, the opposite in the opposite direction. You lay there on the kitchen. So that's how it, it works as a color effect. And I, I'm, I'm right now I'm queuing to get a, the track to stop. I also have like a, a turntable effect on the, the pause. So uh, like a turntable stop. So let me try using that instead. So it, it sounds a little different if I do that. So like a combined effect, if you will. So it's maybe maybe a little more explosive. At, at least if I if I uh, if I hit something uh, major while playing pause. So let's just try that too. You lay there so a little bit more crazy because of the break effect, the turntable break. So, but that's basically the old color effects. Then there's the old regular effect that's also spiral. It does kind of the same uh, when you set it to about the same amount here as when you turn this uh, color effect. So let me just try doing that just to for comparison. So like that. So that's the old spiral effect. Uh, and the color effect hasn't changed in the latest version, but the spiral effect has. So let me just start the latest version here. So I'll shut this down. Start the latest version. So here, and now you can see that it has a length setting. So uh, you can now have separate strength and length. The spiral effect over here, color effects over here has not changed, but this thing has. So now I can do something like this if I load the same track. You lay there on the kitchen floor. So that's kind of the lag it was before if I hit the correct place. Um, but now I can do very long length uh, with the same strength, maybe, like something like this. You lay there on So very diff different, like you can hear. You can also go, ve go very short in length. Uh, so like this, then you get like kind of a, a really fast exit. Um, and I think you're mostly gonna use the spiral effect as an exit, right? Because it's just weird to put on top of the track for 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 longer periods of time. So so let's try doing the a uh, uh, lot of strength, high pitch, and a short length. So then you get something like this. So like a tail, if you will. So also pretty cool, but you have probably have to move out of the, tr of the track pretty fast if you do something like that. And of course, like I said, let's just go back to a more reasonable length here. Let me put that. And then down pitch, and it'll be something like this. You lay there on the kitchen. So like that. And of course, again, with the longer length, maybe even three quarter of a beat, so something like this. You lay there on the so a lot of more options when you use it like this, and you use it with a, with a separate length setting, which is now possible in the latest version of Ultra GTA 2024. So that's pretty cool. Just something else I want to mention is there's been some complaints about the spiral effect, that it's not like the one in record box. Uh, or maybe even in any Pioneer hardware-based effect called Spiral. And that's probably, you know, that is true, but uh, I mean, of course, uh, Pioneer or Recordbox does not decide what the correct version of Spiral is. Um, but uh, let's just compare them. So uh, I only have a recording of how it is in uh, Recordbox. 
So let me just load that to the other, the other deck. So this is not me applying an effect. This is just me playing a recording of every effect. And uh, so like this. So like you hear, it's 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 kind of uh, doing it slower, at least with the pitch, and maybe even resetting it a bit on each uh, on each loop. So of course, very different from the virtual DJ version. So like I said, uh, they don't get to decide, of course, what's the correct way of doing it. But maybe it could be a, a nice little added feature if we added something similar to a virtual DJ. So like, um, for instance, if it had a setting saying, well, Spiral should be record box or pioneer like. And then when you, you did it, it sounded more like uh, the record box version. Or maybe even uh, another option would be to have a setting on the actual effect over here. So not the color effect, the regular effect saying be more like a pioneer version of Spiral. So that would be an option that we could that could maybe be added to a virtual DJ just to make sure that the, that the record box people to get what they wanted if they wanted to use Virtual DJ instead. Uh, maybe the Pioneer hardware people could get what they wanted. So that would maybe be a, a nice little enhancement. I don't know if, if that'll get made, but maybe a good idea. But this video was really all about the length, the separate length and strength setting on Spiral in the latest version of Virtual DJ, which is built 82.25 at the time of this recording, and that version just came out today. So have a look and see if you like it.